The Ministry of National Development has ordered Aljunit Hogang Town Council, which is run by the Workers' Party, to restrict the financial powers of two of its councillors, Sylvia Lim and Lao Tia Kiang. They were found liable last year for misusing millions of dollars in town council funds. Cheryl Lin with this report. The High Court verdict found that Workers' Party leaders Sylvia Lim and Lao Tia Kiang had breached their fiduciary duties and acted dishonestly after hiring a managing agent without calling a tender. Four months on, National Development Minister Lawrence Wong has ordered AHTC to restrict their financial authority. Under the order, AHTC must ensure the duo can't unilaterally approve spending or sign checks on behalf of the town council, for example. But they can continue as elected members of AHTC, take part in discussions and vote in committees. One expert says the order sends a strong signal. This is a very unique uh, first of a kind for a town council. I think uh, it's absolutely necessary. I think uh, it is definitely a very clear and important message about the importance of good governance in town council. Mr. Lowe adds that apart from its symbolic value, the order is an assurance for constituents. It also won't hamper the town council's work. These measures put in place, these are all specific to two specific members and I think there will be enough uh, procedures and alternatives in place so that uh, you know, the normal operations, the needs of the constituents are still continue to be adhered and you know, fulfilled. The order comes after Parliament voted in favour of a motion last November, calling on Ms Lim and Mr Lau to recuse themselves from all financial matters at AHTC. The Town Council then discussed the recusal, but voted against it 17 to 1. MND said the reasons AHTC gave for the decision did not address what it said were grave and serious court findings on Ms Lim's and Mr Lau's conduct. It added that while AHTC had put measures in place, it had not demonstrated how they would be effective as safeguards. Ms Lim and Mr Lau have filed an appeal against that High Court judgment. MND noted that after the appeal has been heard and disposed of, they will then consider the judgment and review whether this order should remain, be cancelled or varied in any manner. In the meantime, AHTC says it's reviewing the order and will issue a statement in due course.